Hello. Right. Um, two quick little videos on soups. Um, I tend to hear a lot of people eat soup as lunch, um, particularly like because uh, low calorie for one, um, and um, it's kind of convenient. Now, a couple of challenges with it. I mean, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with these, you know, these little packeted ones, uh, which have got. Uh, no artificial colours or preservatives. Now it's quite easy to say no artificial colours or preservatives in a soup, that's fairly straightforward. So uh, I think what we need to focus on really is what value does it add nutritionally. So I actually took a picture of some of the ingredients on, on these soups. So in one of these little packeted soups, it's a vegetable soup, uh, and there's actually 3.6% of it is vegetables. So 3.6% of something that's powdered is vegetables. Uh, your other ingredients in there, we have got uh, first three after your vegetables, uh, 3.6%. Glucose syrup, maize, starch and vegetable oil. So let's go through those. Glucose syrup is your glucose fructose syrup, which is the man which is the sweetener that's made from, from corn, uh, which is really high in the glycemic index, which gets converted straight to fat. Uh, maize starch is um, sugar basically, and uh, vegetable oil is too much vegetable oil can increase inflammatory responses in the body, so inflammation of joints and, and things like that. So um, basically, and then you go down and vegetable oil is mentioned again once uh, MSG as well, monosodium glutamate, we've heard about that, which they tried to ban in Chinese food, and the allergy advice contains wheat, barley, gluten, and milk lactose. So basically, with these little packeted soups, it's not that the calories are necessarily issue, it's what value is it adding to the body. So if you're having one of those a day, there's quite a bit of quite nasty ingredients in there, and if you're having that say, as a main meal with some bread to try and keep yourself full, that's not going to keep yourself full because it's got no nutrient density in it. It's got no fibre and it's got no nutrient density at all. It's basically quite chemically enhanced. I mean, if you look at the ingredients on that, um, you're talking, uh, oh God, off the top of my head, there's probably 20 ingredients in it which doesn't make it fantastic. So check the label on that. And I mean, to be honest, I mean, you're best off making it yourself. Get yourself a blender um, and just go online and get a soup recipe, really, then have that. So that's the first thing I, I would avoid, uh, especially if you're using it as any sort of main meal. Um, yeah, avoid those those sort of packeted soups. It's not great. Just check the ingredients, things like vegetable oil, glucose syrup, uh, sugar, obviously, salts, things that are added in. They're not good for you. They're not going to help keep you full, so it's going to defeat the object, uh, especially if you work in an office. Uh, and you go for the convenience when um, you know those are the environments that are normally uh, conducive to you know excessive sort of cake or sweet eating in my experience anyway. So yeah, stay away from those first and foremost. Make yourself some proper soup or literally just have a salad with some proper meat in it. And uh, I'll speak to you guys soon. Cheers.